Hey everyone, it's Job. Welcome to the channel. Just a warning, this is a long video. It's a collective haul of everything that I've purchased in quarter four. So that starts in, ooh, when does quarter four start? Like September, October, November, December? No, October, November, December. So these are the main purchases that I made in October, November, December. Most of these are gifts. Most of these are also purchased. So I'll be sure to let you know while we are going at it. But the first thing that we have, oh my gosh, it's from Amarillo Stationery. It's a stationery store run by my good friend, Eric Gama. This is his brainchild and it's his way to introduce Latinx and Mexican stationery to the rest of the world world slash north america i know a lot of us are kind of based in north america um but i have not heard of a lot of these brands and it is through eric and his um amazing work and sourcing these beautiful beautiful products that we are able to try these items out and i have been wanting to try this ink called arena blanca for the longest time you've probably seen it on the channel already i've mentioned it many times the past few <laughs> videos it was actually in my fountain pen favorites uh video with abby and it's so good it's the perfect kind of light beige um, but this is again sent by my good friend eric as a little gift um so shout out to Eric. This is obviously not sponsored, but thank you, Eric, for the lovely gifts. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first up, we have this lovely ink from Monarca Inks or Monarca Stationery, which is a Mexican stationery brand. And they have this popular ink. It's called Ray Jaguar. And I'm swatching it on the screen right now. This actually made a guest appearance in the lovely video with Abby, the favorites video. And I really love this it's almost like liquid gold if you're looking at it right now it just has that um you know that potion in harry potter like felix felicis i feel like this is what it would look like irl and i love it so much it's such a saturated yellow gold and it's still very readable the next ink might be familiar. It was also in the Fountain Pen Favorites video. And this is Monarca's Arena Blanca, which is one of the inks that I've been wanting to try for the longest time. And I'm so thankful for Eric for sending this over. He probably got sick of me um, talking about it and like, you know, uh, inquiring about it. But it's such a lovely ink. It's such a readable beige. And I don't know about you, but I really love uh, a light but readable ink. I just love anything with really intense shading properties. And this has a pretty good shading factor <laughs> it shades pretty well there you go um and i love it it's very readable and it is one of my daily writing inks now in my lineup and one of the last things that eric sent over is this stunning blue star crafts uh wooden palette with brass metal accents it's so stunning it's a magnetic closure it's a watercolor palette i don't actually know the wood that is being used in this palette but oh it's so stunning it i think it's like walnut it looks like a walnut um veneer or something i'm actually not sure it might be solid walnut but it is stunning it comes with a elastic that keeps it together it already has magnetic closure but it also has a paintbrush and you're gonna see it in a little bit now i'm gonna open it it's gonna be so good i still have not um i haven't filled this with paint yet because i'm too scared to ruin it and i don't know which paints to put but as you can see it is magnetic oh it looks so good there's a mixing side on one side and then all of the pans are on the other side um there's brass accents and it's just it's so satisfying to play with part of me is like should i even put anything in here it's just so fun to play with but you get quite a generous pan for the inks um and yeah i really really am excited to set this up i only have one pocket palette right now that i'm using quite religiously as my like main palette for everything it's the art toolkit x travelers company palette it's like the green pocket palette from art toolkit it's super thin and portable but Right now, I'm feeling like I want a palette that can live at home that uh, has bigger pans. And I think this might just fit the bill. It just seems so luxurious. Like, I'm scared to use it. And I'm scared to ruin the beautiful walnut wood. But it is made to be a palette. It's not like I'm using it for a different purpose. So, um, it is totally fine to use with paint i'm just being a baby and i don't want to ruin it because i am very messy and 
um, I stain things and spill things quite a bit. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this, but I know it's going to be durable because it is made to be a palette. And lastly, Eric sent over these lovely adhesive pen loops that you can add to your existing notebooks that don't have any pen loops. Uh, I am very excited about this because I used to use the Loistrom one all the time, but I that ran out of my stash for that and so i'm excited to use this and i'm excited to just add it to any insert that i have i have a feeling that i'm going to put it on my traveler's notebook monthly insert but i haven't toyed around with actually doing that yet but i will keep you updated if i do use this thanks eric for all of the lovely items let's look at what other goodies um, i bought slash received next Oh my gosh. I see it. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, it's the Use Your Shit by Judy sticker. Yay, Judy, took a bit of memory. This package is not from Judy. It's totally not from Judy, I swear. From not Judy. Enjoy Joby. Job. Oh, it's so cute. This, this washi is so cute. And then this is Sumiko Garashi. Oh my gosh, I've wanted this tote for so long. Um, so this is a tote. Oh, there's so many, yay. We'll put this everywhere for jerseys. Please follow Judy on Twitch and Instagram and YouTube. Um, actually, I don't know if she has a YouTube. Um, and her shop. I'll link it all down below. But this is from August. Um, she went to the Creative Expo. And there was this tote that was um, limited edition. Uh, you can only get it at the show, at the Creative Expo, um, with your purchase of like 25... I don't know, I, I don't remember. It was a certain um, new Taiwan dollar amount, but it's from our studio. Oh, there's so many extras here. Ah, oh, Judy. Wait, I'll look at this later. I just want to look at the tote. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, and it's pink. So cute. I love this aesthetic so much. Ours. Hola. Hello. Annyeong. I don't, I can't read these two, but I'm guessing this is in Japanese and this is in Mandarin. Booth.ours.tw. Name and address. Oh, it's so cute. It's screen printed from what it looks like. And it's just a nice casual tote. Not that I need more tote bags, but I, I got a rep. I got a rep my crew. My, my love for Hours Studio is real and this is so good. And then Judy sent some extras. Dear Joby, here's a bit of uh, some things uh, in order. My postcard, a kind of cafe, some sort of fern. Lucky dear, you you know, obviously enjoy. Oh, so cute. So this is Judy's postcard, cute. Oh, this is a kind of cafe, so good. I have this PET tape, oh, and I don't have the sticker sheet. So it's like collaged, uh, like sweets, like danishes, cookies, and whatnot. Um, this is some sort of fern. Oh, I've had this on my, on my like to to try list. I I have a few some sort of fern, PET tape samples, um, but I don't have any of their transfer stickers. This one is Lucky Deer, cute. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. Hoji cha. This is like, oh, this is, this one's so this one's so good. I love this aesthetic. Look at that deer. Ah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I need to frame this. So when 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 she went and grabbed um, the stuff from the Creative Expo, Hanks uh, of Hanks Diary and uh, Koopa of Bear Koopa were there, the two creators of our studio, and they signed this postcard. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, uh, then there's more samples here of Judy's PET tape that has um, dogs from our stationary community. I don't know everyone's dogs here, um, but it's so cute. 
Is this Fergie? Oh my gosh. It's so, these are so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Is this Annie's dog? Oh, oh, oh. oh this is Sushi's dog. Oh, is this Corgi? It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Jody! So many good stuff. Okay, I should calm down. I'm gonna repack this up so I can open it on stream. Yay. I received some aggressively kind <laughs> gifts from my friend Becky, uh, who is stationed in Hong Kong. I love Becky's YouTube channel. She does urban sketching, and right now she is doing this lovely December occasionally. Honestly, she's killing it. She's doing it pretty much daily. I, on the other hand, am failing at December daily, but that's all right. We are going at our own speed, and you know, all that matters is that we're enjoying and documenting December, but she spoiled me with these gifts. Uh, Becky sent over these manual factory X Travelers Company stickers, and I am forever grateful. These are from Log On, which is one of my favorite stationery stores that I visited in Hong Kong. When I went there, I don't know what was up with me. I didn't buy a manual factory bear. It's kind of like an iconic stationery related item. It's like that thing that's not explicit, explicitly stationary but it's stationary aligned and so I never bought one of those bears but um, I'm so happy that I have these stickers I also didn't know that these letterpress stickers from Travelers Company existed so thank you for showing me the light Becky and then this is such a lovely letterpress card that I'm probably gonna hoard forever like how do you how do you even send this to someone like I, I know I should I know I should send this as you know a little mail thing to a friend but how do I part with this? This is so beautiful. I feel like I want to like cut it up and hole punch it and use it as a dashboard for one of my ring organizers slash planners, but we shall see. I should probably use it for its intended purpose and actually um, mail this card to someone, but it feels so precious. But thank you again, Becky, for this. And then I'll, I freaked out here. Um, this is the Manual Factory Bear um, special insert or limited edition insert um, that they did with Traveler's Company. It's the same time that this was, I think this was released the same time as the stickers that I showed earlier. And this is so lovely. I'm actually using this um, larger regular size refill as my December daily refill and then I shared the love um, and gifted um, the passport to a dear friend of mine so I hope you're all right with that Becky but I couldn't I, I don't know I just couldn't keep both of them I felt too um too greedy but I'm so 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 thankful to uh, my friend Becky be sure to check out her YouTube channel this was such a kind gift and uh yeah I love it so much Becky thank you so much for um supporting me on YouTube and Patreon and whatnot I really value our friendship my friend uh but yeah this is so cool this is just um the regular size traveler's notebook insert they just have regular white paper instead of the md cream paper which is nice because i am always using the md cream but the white paper is nice to paint with and lately for december daily i've been doodling more i'm trying to be a little bit more loose and free with my doodles in my notebook and i'm trying to make it like not a daily thing but something that feels more casual and not like oh my gosh i need to sit down and paint it's just trying to make painting more accessible to my daily life but thank you so much becky again be sure to check out her youtube channel i'll leave all the information down in the description bar below but such a lovely lovely gift oh my gosh dun 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 Dun, da -dun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, ah! It's so pretty. I'm actually just acting right now because I already opened this. <laughs> And this is film, uh, filmed already, but oh my gosh, it's still so pretty. It's like the first time I'm seeing it. Oh, so this is uh, the Sailor 1911L, so the larger size. It's the, the cigar-shaped um, Sailor, so it doesn't have any cool you know, thing at the top of the finial or the end cap. 
but it's a cigar shape, a little bit more classic. But I couldn't pass up this stunning mustard yellow. And this is the larger size because um, all my other sailors, let me just grab one, are in the Pro Gear Slim. Because there's a regular Pro Gear size and it's closer to this one. Oh, they match so well. Did I buy this to match the nut spin? Maybe. Because look at the, the yellow. It's so good. Um, this came with an M nib, but actually right when I got it, I did some, I didn't really like how it was writing. It was writing a little, not scratchy, but it was a little feedbacky, even though this is a medium and, um, this is a medium. Thought there was definitely a difference. Um, even though this is a 21K nib, so I was slightly worried, but... Um, this is actually a used pen. I bought this from Ablation from their like like new section. So it's lightly used. And since this is the Pirate's Life edition, it comes with a little piece of gold, but the piece of gold is actually just a little golden pin. And it says, a Pirate's Life for me. And then it has a sailor, the sailor nib and two swords. Very cool. Don't know if I'll ever wear it, but it might go on a tote bag or something. Um, and it comes with a, a cartridge, converter, and yeah, some two two black cartridges. Um, so yeah, I was at first a little bit iffy. I don't know if maybe it will, maybe it wasn't scratchy. Maybe I just wasn't used to writing with a twenty one k nib. But I've definitely come to a place where I really enjoy how it writes. So let me just try it again. Let's see. So smooth. It writes more like a broad now. Obviously, uh, don't, you know, mess with your, I'm writing this down nibs um i took a risk i could have totally messed this up i don't know why i was feeling so uh not feisty but like courageous but i don't know i think it paid off because it's so it's so buttery smooth now like i can just write and it feels great so you can definitely tell that um, it's a different, it's a different uh, thickness or, um, yeah, I don't know where I put the, I had some scrap paper that I was using to test, um, but it also came with this lovely, um, some lovely freebies. So this is ordered from Oblation. Oh, look at this gold letter press with um, some heat um, foiling or foil embossing. It's so pretty. And this is also letter pressed. Oh, it feels so good. And then the postcard is written by my good friend Kelly. I'm gonna put this in my in my um, in my journal because. It's letterpress too, and I love Kelly. Kelly's awesome. Kelly is Kelly Love Letters, um, and is a co-host of the Stationery Cafe podcast. And she threw in some ablation uh, stamps because ablation is also an official partner shop of Traveler's Company. I love it so much. They're based in Portland, and then she threw in some um, holiday uh, stickers from Traveler's Factory. So cute. I love this so much. Thank you, Kelly. I'm so happy I just bit the bullet and bought this um, used pen. Although, you know, I wasn't too excited about the nib. I think that was just me. And honestly, I don't think it probably needed any nib tuning. But I just, I don't know. I felt that it just needed a little touch of some Mylar paper. And now it writes fantastically even though it is slightly more broad but I love it it writes so well yay sailor 
Wood. Wood. Yay. If you want to see what I mean about how much broader it is now, you can just look at my writing right here. This is how my new 1911L 21K writes. Definitely a lot thicker than my 14K medium. But again, I didn't alter that medium nib from my 14K Pro Gear Slim uh, pen. But this one I did use a little bit of Mylar paper to smooth it out. But yeah, I really, really like it. I wouldn't recommend anyone do this by themselves because it would, it would be a fool to mess with a 21k nib and I am that fool can't believe I did it but also call me a nib grinder now just kidding nib is so glassy smooth I did get to a point where I was like oh my gosh did I overdo it um oh no like it feels so bad but now I'm happy I like persevered um, because this feels so good. Okay, I can't stop writing with it. Yay. Okay, we are 20 minutes in. Are you doing all right? Are you hydrating? Are you drinking water? If you need food, go grab a snack and pause this because we still have a long way to go. But um, I am very excited because I never thought this day would come, but I received this giant care package of stationery uh, from Notebook Therapy. I um, have never purchased from Notebook Therapy, but they so kindly reached out and asked me if I wanted to try something from their new Hinoki line of stationery. And I said, yeah, I just want to try like a little bit. Like, thank you so much. Uh, and then they were like, hey, here's like the whole lineup of stationery. I'm like, what? So I was very excited. I was like expecting a small parcel and then this giant box came um, and I was like, what is this? So uh, when I was opening this, it felt like um, like Christmas Day. So we will let past Job unbox this and I'll come back later to explain some of the other things that I received. Scratch and sniff. Whoa. Wow, it smells so good. Dear Traveler, wherever you are in the world, we hope this postcard finds you well. We are so proud to introduce Hinoki to you. Holding sustainability at our core, we delight in making na nature-inspired products that capture the essence of Japan. Unlock your senses by looking, smelling, and feeling each handcrafted product, and immerse yourself in a Japanese forest at dawn. Imagine bathing in a cool woodland pool under a canopy of leaves. Create with Hino Hinoki by your side. Before we take flight, we'd like to say thank you. For every purchase you make, we'll plant one tree to match. Are you ready to build a forest with us? Thank you always, Hinoki. Hinoki line from Notebook Therapy. Wow, scratch and sniff. Starter kit. Whoa! Wow, this is so pretty! Is this a stamp set? Wow, Into the Forest. Made on April 17, 2022. That one's really pretty! Into the forest washi tape set. I'm just gonna take a peek. Oh, wait, what? It's actually really pretty. What? Cute. Okay. see this first a little pouch oh it's so cute it's corduroy 
Oh, and the layout is cute too. Oh, what? Oh, there's like a mini pouch here. It doesn't extend the whole way. And then you have cards. That's interesting. I wonder how this will, well, it's fabric, so it should hold up. Cute. Oh, this one's so cute. They really said, Job, here's your aesthetic. Okay, last one. I love how everything is in this craft packaging. And then this is, oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, what? You can carry like a little side bag too. And this is a cute pouch bag. Ugh. It's so cute and it, it smells good too. Everything is lightly like, I don't know, it has that very nice kind of like woody feel and scent. And the pouches are really high quality. Okay, let us unbox. Ooh. Open this. So this one's the Into the Forest wooden stamp set made on April 17th, 2022. And I guess this is the little um, uh, information of what you can expect inside. Wow, oh, it's so pretty. Cute. This one says, anywhere the nature. Wow. Scent of the forest. So this one's like a little receipt. Cute. Date one is super handy. Shinrin Yoku. Forest bathing. Spending time in the forest to enjoy the therapeutic benefits of the magical green light. Wow. Cute. Oh, the Hinoki stamp. Oh, barefoot in the grass. Oh, Lily of the Valley. Ah, oh, cute. These are also cute. There's like a Japanese influence in all of this. I don't think notebook therapy is based in Japan. I believe they're based in Singapore, but oh man, this feels... Nice, like even a wooden box. Love it. Very high quality. And then the Into the Forest washi tape set. And I think this is their foray into not just washi. I think I think this one is washi, yep. Let's see. Cute. It stamps. The aesthetic is so soft. So cute. I guess I'll show you the full. I guess the repeat is, oh, the repeat's long. This isn't, oh, we haven't even repeated. Oh, wow, okay, it's a long, <gasps> wow, okay. Notebook therapy, I see you. This is, it's a 40 centimeter long repeat, I feel like. You can see, wow, cute. And it's all like subtle, 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 foresty, soft, like calming, the bonsai there. Cute. And I am killing it with the re-roll, look at this. Okay, maybe not, never, never mind. Okay. And then, yeah, I think the rest are PET tapes. Wow, shocking. I've never tried a PET tape by um, Notebook Therapy. Oh, these are some just some girls. Some girlies. Cute, enjoying just life painting outside. How cute. This one's so cute. Okay, and it. Whoa, it's a long repeat. It is a meter long repeat. I'm just eyeballing this all by, uh, by the way. But yeah, cute. Maybe not a meter long, maybe 80 centimeters, but I think it is a meter long.
And then this one's like travel ticket ephemera, which is up my alley. Cute. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. And it's all Japan themed. Cute. I think the repeat is right there. Let's see. First one is ticket 130. Oh, yeah. I went too far. I went too far. The repeat is this is this this is the repeat. So it's long. Yeah, it, this one's a meter, I think. Yeah, it's a meter or eighty centimeters. I don't know. Pretty cool though. I don't think I have any ticket PET tape. I have ticket stickers and ticket ephemera, which is cool. It's nice having it in PET form. Cute. Dang. That's this one this set is pretty pretty awesome. Okay, this one is like um labels or frames. That's cute. And the repeat ends here. It is also a meter. But yeah, here's the design. This one's really versatile. Because, and it's on this, all the PET is on not clear gloss, it's clear matte. So it has that frosted look. But it's nice because it's not too shiny. And it matches the overall feel of like this whole line of like Hinoki. Like it's very calm. Um, nothing's too like bright or flashy. Yeah, it really it makes it really makes a lot of sense. Cool. This one was a fantastic one. The last thing that I wanted to unbox is this. I think this is the biggest thing here, and I think this is the thing that they're leading with. This is the Notebook Therapy Hinoki Line Traveler's Notebook. This one is made with vegan leather, and I think out of all of the items that they sent over, this is the one that I feel a little bit iffy about. You know how loyal I am to my Midori Traveler's Notebooks, and I love the quality of this. I think this is a great starter for people that want to try out the notebook system but aren't ready to commit to the hefty price tag of the Traveler's notebook because if you buy a traveler's company traveler's notebook you just get like the leather the piece of leather which is kind of sad and then you have to buy all the other things like the refills the elastic bands and it gets quite pricey but um this one comes with a charm already which is nice the elastics there um the vegan leather is quite soft um but yeah you get like three notebook inserts already and a sticker pack and i think these are transfer stickers too um and i think that's pretty cool but again it's not like my favorite item because i prefer uh the feel of leather and the durability of leather i feel like once vegan leather gets scuffed up it doesn't like age like regular leather and in some ways it becomes a little bit more wasteful to the environment just because of how vegan leather or pleather is produced um so that's my stance on like like leather and, and real leather uh and fake leather and vegan leather um i know that's not everyone's you know preference for um you know notebooks and stuff but you know you trust your gut in terms of your values and what you think is right for the environment um i use leather products and um i enjoy them but if you are looking for a vegan leather alternative this one might be a good one because it's actually quite soft and it feels really good you get three inserts you get the grid you get blank and you get craft which is cool and they're all saddle stitch bind which i'm like okay notebook therapy i see you uh, but yeah i really um like this for a beginner but if you want to you know invest i would still go with the with the uh 
Midori Traveler's Notebook or the Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook. But those are my quick thoughts about the Hinoki line. I absolutely loved everything. Um, I think this one, again, is like my least favorite, but I think they killed it with the theme and everything is just so subtle and it matches that soft journaling aesthetic that's very popular with, you know, accounts that are very minimal and... Um, minimal and beige like you know the, the that beigey aesthetic i feel like if you like that aesthetic um there's something here for you um in the hinoki line but thank you again notebook therapy for sending this over it's very uh generous of them to send it over um so yeah be sure to check them out but again um thank you so much for this lovely gift let's see what else job received and bought in uh quarter th i was gonna say quarter three quarter four Ta-da! Ah! Okay. Let's open these first. We already know what this looks like. <sighs> Pretty, my first TSL patch. And it comes with beautiful leather. I'm going to use this for a DIY project. You already know it. Ooh, pen loop right there. But this just says TSL Leathers & Co, which is super cute. Love that it comes with leather. Super cool. Bought another patch. TSL Cub, it's so cute. I don't even camp. I am not outdoorsy. But that aesthetic though, so cute. She looks easy to out. And then, I feel like this is obligatory, this purchase. Oh, this comes with plastic, that's cool. Um, it's this like, edge thingy. Here, I'm not gonna take it off. We can put it at the edge of your traveler's notebook. I think I want to put this at the intersection where this meets, but this will cause actual, like, irreversible, not damage to your traveler's notebook because there's teeth on it. So when you clamp this down, I'll probably use, like, um, pliers without any ridging or teeth on it and just close it and keep it really secure. But yeah, this is going to cause some damage. It's brass, by the way. And that's all I bought. Should I have just bought this all in one go? Um, yeah. I should have just bought both colors. Because I knew. Well, I, uh, I don't even know. I tore the packaging. Uh, I knew that I would want both. Um, but I still was like, eh, I can only get one. Um, so I ended up spending mo more money on shipping than I should have, but yeah, this is the camel one. This is cool because it comes with multiple elastics, just like this one. So this is the blue one. Let's open this one. Ah, it's pretty. It's so cute. Wow. Anytime TRC does um, debossing, I'm here for it. Like the hot debossing. Ooh. These are my two favorite finishes from the um, limited edition sets um, this year. I love the record because it was debossed, and then I loved the airline, which I have right here, um, just to show how it ages. But I just love the kind of silver warm silver it's almost it's not gold um but it's like a warm creamy silver foiling it's i think these are the two best embossing deboss debossing slash foiling options that trc does my opinion so killed it and then again barber pole insert on the inside just like this one ta-da and then the rationale behind the patches, I was thinking doing the blue patch here and then the cub patch here. And then just doing, I don't know, I saw a lot of images from TSL that have, oh, it looks so cool, they use their pins um, and then they put a fasten here and it fastens like this. Like they just, ooh, should I just do it myself? They just put like a button here, um, a TSL brass button, and then they put a leather um, 
a leather loop here. So it's just imagine like, uh, let's just do it actually. Well, no, I'm not going to do it permanently. <laughs> but imagine this as a pin here. And then this is the class that closes the notebook. But yeah, that's, in theory, this it would look something like that. Like, woo! Like that, but that was a really bad example. But yeah, that's it. Okay. I wonder if uh, Future Job purchases more things. Is this just a quick unboxing or is this a collective haul? We'll never know. Okay, bye. So cute. Oh! Oh! Oh, cute! Oh my gosh, is it handmade? I think it is. Oh, it's so cute. I'm putting on my December daily. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, these are so oh so wintry oh so cute mm, peanuts cute It's like a candy. This package is. Oh, it's a little bow. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Cute. Oop, almost fell. Oh, so cute. Cute. Oh, some cocky gory. A Sunday. Melon soda. Waffles. Cute. Oh, these are all so cute. Little foods. Love, I love. Oh, I think this is not from a black book. I think this is from Nita. This is from Nita. This is from Nita. This is not from Mira Cat. It's not from Cat. This is so cute. Oh, these are all from Daiso. Super cute. Daiso slash Umomo, I believe. Okay. Wow. This is special issue number 17. Trip presented by Travelers Agency. Cute design for 2022. Ooh, I love it. This is such a good photo. Wow. Ten.
Hexen photo by Mini Miner. Pretty. Wow, she got a feature. And then this has partner shop info. Cute. Love having this. <clears throat> okay. I've been wanting to open this for a few months now. It's gray box, so you know it's a limited edition one. It's a fifth anniversary limited edition. You can already see the color. Dun, dun, dun. This way, this way. Wow. Wow! Oh, it's so pretty! Well, mine has um, some intense um, fat rolls, as they call it. It's so pretty! Mine definitely has a lot of character. You can see that right there. Wow! Wow. That gold though. Wow. So cool. I love it. Let me grab my... I have both 5th editions now. What will I use next year? We don't know. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love it so much. I just stare and look at this guy, but oh, this is definitely scratched up already. How? Okay, so pretty. Uh, thank you, cat. I love it so much. The only this definitely I'm alarmed. It's part of the leather drone. Just like is that <laughs> Did someone at the factory just do that? <laughs> In that too. Okay. Not gonna be a baby about it. Okay, so more gifts from Nina. So she gave me even more of these Daiso sheets, which I'm gonna keep together. These are so nice. I'm gonna use this uh, anytime they're very versatile. And then, I always make jokes, but this is a brand called Molinta, and I'm always like, Molinta more problems. Um, from our, from our trip stationary trip to Seattle a few months ago. I actually don't own any Molinta products. And this is like Molinta subtly holiday, but also Chris, oh, is it? it? No, it's just red. Cute, very cute. Thank you, Nita. Oh my gosh. So Nita and Season are both in town and they both run a blank note and they're like, we're just gonna give these to you. I'm like, what? I think uh, these are actually from Season. She ordered it from a, I think a Chinese brand. I don't know what it's called. I think it's just called J. This one. One of them has the, the branding. So, I forgot what this one is called. Is it JR Designs? I'm not gonna open up all of them, but these are two PET tapes. And then there's four washi tapes. This is like my 
tape quota uh, of the year, but this is so pretty, just like very elegant and simple um, drawings. Actually, I don't think they're drawings. I think they're scans of foliage with like little doodles. Very versatile, honestly. And the repeat is quite long. The repeat is with the ginkgo leaf. So maybe, I think it's like half a meter, maybe 60 centimeters. Not bad, not a full meter, but pretty good. That was that one. The other PET tape has a similar vibe, but I think this one just has more flowers. This one has more leaves. Actually, these are only leaves. There's some flowers, but they're more like neutral. These are actual flowers, like red flowers. There are some leaves in here too, though, like smaller leaves. Very cute. And then this one, I think we can open. This is washi material. Cute, be consistent, tight hug, work for it, more compassion, be curious, not judgmental, ooh, restart, re, something rest, re, to, re, what is that, re, something, be a nice human, be, tr like, these are all forehead kisses, wow, very romantic. See what stays, everything will be alright. Wonder. Oh no, I was like, wow, there's no. These actually have really good, meaningful. So this one just says, Wonderful You. Is it like Wonderful You? Be great. Okay, this is where it starts. Begin again, be rare. What hurts more won't hurt forever. Oh, what hurts now won't hurt forever. Be there for another human. Produce joy. Grow with patience. These are all really good. We are all fragile. Oh, and this is a meter uh, repeat. Super good. Love this. Very versatile. You can use it in a lot of things. And I think this is a three and a half millimeter tape. That's, yeah, this looks like a four meter tape. Low. Or is this two and a half? I don't know, very versatile though. And then I won't open these because I want to savor them. Like, it's like opening new stationery. So this one's called Attic. Not Attic, Attic. I am becoming the best version of me. I am safe. These are so nice. They all have like positive affirmations. This one has, uh, from the look of it, looks like it has like little paint textures. Or just different textural backgrounds. Rose, Stan Black Pink, uh, enjoy the ride. This one just has um, kind of like that minimalist, like um, doodle with a kind of paint ish background. Very nice and versatile. And then the last one, leaves, which I think I'll probably use the most. I love this one. It just has, again, the kind of quotes and then some nice like I love it very loose um, leaf drawings which is my favorite type of leaf drawing so cute thank you season thank you uh, Nita thank you so much a blank note team this was so nice it was so fun hanging out with them in Vancouver we went to so many stationery shops and we ate a lot of good food and oh, such a fun day. Thank you, friends. I love you. Okay, so I already opened this at the coffee shop with Season and, oh, I didn't see the stickers. With Season and Nita and Carter and Tom. Cute, you have second stickers. I actually don't, the last time I ordered from them was a while ago. Oh, the sticker is, has the refresh pen on it. Cool. And then I have a note from Alex and Team Yoseka. And I got a handwritten note. Because they were switching to the, 
to the postcard now um, just because of the sheer amount of orders but I got a lovely note it says hi Job we're glad you got the chance to order too I hope you love the new Christmas pudding sailor the green cap reminds me of our origin pen so fun happy writing wishing you all the best Alex plus team Yoseka so good my first and probably only Yoseka order this year Yep, you, you read it in the note already. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save this. Washi. <clears throat> save this too. I already opened this, but it feels like oh, it's upside down. But it feels like the first time. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, there's plastic. Ah, it's so pretty. It's the Christmas pudding sailor. So pretty. Ooh. So as you can see, it's 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 a really dark and deep green. It's actually translucent, but. I don't know, it's just so pretty. You can see that there's glitter that's been layered on, on multiple layers. Like they're not all the same level of sparkliness. Like you can tell some are in the resin or plastic or whatever material <laughs> Sailor makes these pens out of. Has a red background to the Sailor logo. I wish it had a custom finial, but it's okay. It has gold trimmings. And then look at this lovely dark, dark brown love it then oh this is such a nice part of it look at the little um section over here it's like a nice like almost like gl not glittery but it's definitely like a irid not iridescent it's very shiny i think there is some like something in it that makes it look a lot shinier i don't know but i got this in a medium nib and then, oh, look at the cap. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Does this come with better? Okay, it does. It comes with a converter. Phew, I, I should know by now, but I'm always scared. Love it. So pretty. I will ink it after, but wow. So pretty. Look at all the flex in there. And this is again a Pro Gear Slim. So it's small and compact. It's not a pocket pen, but on my hands, it's quite small. It's almost a pocket pen, but it feels quite comfortable to write with when posted, honestly. Like this is a really good size for me. I can do bait with bigger though. But yeah, I really love it. I think I just have a knack for green pens. This is so pretty. So pretty. Eee. Thank you to Past Job for actually buying this. Yay. Let's put it back in its bed. For a second. Okay. This pen is starting to sell out in other places, so run, do not walk if you see it because I don't think you want to miss out. It's such a lovely pen and it always reminds me of the holidays. So cute. Okay. Closing this for now. Bye pen, love ya. Lol, I already opened this. But I'm gonna act shocked again. <laughs> <coughs> so pretty, it's the Countalites cover. So excited. Ordered this in September. Only came now because I had paper plus cloth. Um, keep the, keep it for now. 
um, because I wanted it to ship out with a few more other things that I wanted to get, but I didn't end up getting those things. Um, but I did end up getting something, so I'll show that later. But I just wanted to see how this A6 diary that I have, which is getting quite chunky, which I hope to finish by the end of this year. This is kind of like the same size as a Techo original. Hello? Does it go here? Yeah, it does. Come on, Joe. Mm. There we go. It went slowly but surely. Why do I feel like it's not going in though? Okay. Oh, why am I sweating? Oh, it's already in. Do I... It's t Is it tight? Nope, it's not. Oh! So pretty. Very count the lights ish. And then I have another one of these. Yay! Um, I don't have the exact. Uh, I don't want to open it just because. I think I'm going to give that one to my mom because a lot of friends actually gave me their pen. Oh my gosh, it's so chonky, this journal. But yeah, it can fit in. Very nicely, and this is the Atelier's Thaleus, still one of my favorite covers. Um, I'm just showing this now, but I'm gonna end the year in this one and then start first this, start 2023 in this cover. Um, since it's navy, I don't think I'm gonna put a cover on cover and just enjoy how it looks. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. And I also got the free gift, the nylon pouch, which Paper Plus Cloth was really kind to give these. Because normally if you buy these from a third party um, place, you only get the cover. But I'm so happy that I got the both. The both. Why am I saying the? Um, yeah, this is like a weird nylon-y material, which is not what I was expecting whatsoever. But there's a quote here that says, Today is the only day the me I am right now will ever exist. I want to keep a record of that so the me in the future won't forget them. Cute. Love it. can put that in there. Um, you can, I wonder if you can fit an A5 journal. I think you can. Since Hobonichi does make the A5 cousin. Yeah, you can fit an A5 and a Tetra original perfectly in here. Uh, yeah. Love this. Again, navy, not my favorite color, but when it's navy in relation to the night sky, I'm I'm all over it. Um, lovely, lovely. Okay, I can't set up my regular unboxing rig right now, but I wanted to just open this already. Another gift from Atelier Phileas. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Atelier Phileas team. Ooh, I wonder what they sent me this time. It seems a little bit smaller form factor. Oh, I think I know what it is. Whoa, I asked, uh, Charles asked me what color and I said any, surprise me. But this is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't think I have this. Oh, it's so stunning. It's their week's cover. Oh, and it's in this lovely chocolate brown with, let me guess, oh, I think it's natural leather inside. Oh, get out of here. It's so pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. Oh, thank you so much, Charles. I'll do a little bit more of an in-depth, um, like um, shots and everything of this, but it's so pretty. I also want to see what it looks like with my weeks. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it fits so nicely with uh, my yellow weeks. It's like a nice contrast. It's like a brown bear with their honey pot. I don't know. 
Uh, but yeah, it's super nice. It's roomy. Um, you have two pockets here. Um, let's see if it fits something. Let me just grab a random, like, sample. Yeah, it works. Um, and then the back, you just get this giant um, pocket to put the weeks. But it's really nice. And it actually has a roomy uh, pen loop, which I'm going to try. And oh, I don't even have anything chonky here. No, that's the bad. It's an Apple pencil. Okay, this is a really thick pen. Uh, and it fits. I just can't do it one-handed. <laughs> there you go, effortlessly. This is the more black jet stream. But... Oh, it's so cute! I can't get over it. I'm sorry this is just like a phone clip, but you can still see how beautiful the quality is. Look at that. Look at the craftsmanship. It's handmade in um, Japan, and it is so good. It really matches the rest of my um, Yokohama notebook series from Ateliers Valais. So thank you again, Charles, for sending this over. It's such a generous gift. <laughs> I'm so, 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 so lucky. Um, so yeah, be sure to check out Charles. He's such a kind and generous and wonderful human being. Uh, he runs Nomado Store, which is a beloved uh, stationery store that sells a bunch of stationery and the superior labor uh, based in Europe. They're in Belgium, but they ship worldwide. And yeah, I have purchased from them before, but this is such a generous, generous gift. So be sure to check them out. Okay, I think that does it for uh, the stationary uh, quarter four video. I know it was a lot of stationary, uh, but it just shows that I have been blessed so much this year and it's all thanks to you. So thank you for watching these videos and supporting me and thank you to all the lovely friends who sent me stationery and lovely gifts and thank you to all the other brands that have sent stationery for review. It really means a lot to me. I still can't believe I'm at a place where I get to like do this for fun um, and you know people trust me with you know sending stationery and reviewing it it really means a lot to me and it's all again thanks to you who watch and support this YouTube channel I'm getting emotional uh, but yeah it's the end of the year and I just want to say that I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for your support this 2022 I'm excited to dive in full force in 2023 and just get it and achieve our goals uh but yeah thank you so much be sure to let me know what your favorite thing from uh this collective haul was um i'll be reading the comments and let me know what's one thing that you are um looking forward to in 2023 i'll see you in the comments everyone i love you so much bye bye